that it's just all happening all together like my new work first day at work new task new role then personal life issues then it's just oh my god you miss the life that you had parang pre-covid why so wait why why did this happen to me just have to trust in the process hi guys and young it's nicole and welcome back to my channel hey guys welcome to another episode of real talk um so today voila i'm just giving you a life update because I think I owe you a life update because of my um, first ever Real Talk episode, if you remember. So you can just visit this link. So in that Real Talk episode, I um, talked about um, losing my job and like entering English online teaching and putting up my um, online food business, which is Nick Snacks. So those are those are some of the things that I talked about in that vlog. So that's why today I thought about giving you guys an update of what happened in the past few months and where I am right now in life, not literally where I am right now. So what happened na nga ba in the past few weeks? So as you all know, di ba nga I lost my job then Ever since I lost my job, I've been regularly applying to different companies because that's what you that's what you do when you lost your job, right? So that's what I did. So I kept sending out um sending out my resume. Um I kept applying on a LinkedIn, on Caliber, on other um websites. Um, job um, job portal. So there, that's what I've been doing in the past few months. But of course, hindi naman ako nawala ng source of income because I still have Nick Snacks. And as I said, last December, I launched Nuna Nuna. And I really didn't expect the feedback from everyone. Like, during my launch of Nuna Nuna, some of the styles got sold out and didn't expect it. So, there. And of course, as I've mentioned, I've been teaching English online through 5-1 Talk. And I do it regularly. I do it every night because that's the peak hours. When you teach when you teach English online, usually peak hours is at night because the students, they have work or they have school in the morning. So they usually take extra English classes at night. So that's why I teach at night. So there, actually it fits my schedule because I do orders in the morning. I do Nick snacks, Nuna Nuna in the morning and then at night I do my English online teaching. So it's it's been great so far. Um, I'm already turning six months in the platform and I'm doing well in the platform because I have so many regular students already and right now um, Every time I open slots, it gets um, fully booked right away. So I'm really thankful for this opportunity that I was able to earn during this pandemic. Like, well, I don't have my regular job yet. So there. And I became very close with, with some of my students already. I already know their parents. I see them online whenever I teach them. And they always ask me about my schedule we've been really close to each other so it is one of the perks of teaching these kids online those kids they're super cute when i teach them so ang sweet lang when they do when they do that and when their mom say bye to me like oh bye teacher see you tomorrow or see you next week or teacher when's your next class can i book your next class so there it's really um satisfying for me to to have this kind of opportunity. That's what I've been doing in the past few months. Luckily, last month, last January, I received, I've been receiving um, invitations to apply on Caliber and just, so I've been, I've been responding. But there's this one time that I received this um, invitation to apply on Caliber and it's actually um, quite different from what I usually do, but 
um, it's it's connected to fashion and retail so I still I still give it a go so I responded and I said that um, I'm free for a zoom meeting so I did the next morning they scheduled me for a zoom interview just to fast forward it a bit luckily Fortunately, I was able to get the job. During that time, I was just really happy that finally, finally. So since September, I lost my job last September. I've been really missing working in in the the corporate um, scene. Or I miss, I just miss working in the office and have that regular task every day. As I've said in my past in my past vlogs that I love being busy. I'm such a busy bee. Like, hindi ako mapakali. It's just for my sanity. So, when I got this job, I was so looking forward to it. And at the same time, I was quite anxious as well. Or I was quite worried. Of course, my worry pa rin. Because first, um, we are required to work in the office. Um, and luckily, I, I, know, I really I really think that this job was really meant for me because Malayo it's inside QC as well and it's near my parents' office so I can just ride with them to work. So anyway, let me tell you about my first week at work. So I started working last February 16th. Yes, last February. So it's very recent, right? This month then. So I started working last February 16 and it was after Valentine's Day. Um, my first day was on a Tuesday, Feb 16. So I, I am going to be very honest about how I, how I felt that week. So that week, it was actually um, like an emotional roller coaster for me. Like, I know you would think na, oh, maybe she's very happy because she has a new job. Like, don't get me wrong, I am very happy. Like, I'm super happy that I'm I'm back on track, I have a new job. But, you know, during, I don't know, like that week, sobrang, parang I just wanna cry. I just wanna go home and just wanna cry. Like, why? I don't know, like, what, why am I feeling this way? Maybe it's because, like, Remember when when the lockdown started I was working for a different company and I was quite new that time I I, I haven't I I just I was just there for a few months because parang when I left when I left my previous job parang mag one year actually one parang one year went one year ako when I when I lost my job so there so parang few months pa lang akong pumasok sa office parang like six months pa lang, or five months so there and I became very close now with my with my workmates. So imagine that um, lockdown. Yun yung last kong life. Eh. Like that was the last life that I experienced outside of outside of my home. And now I'm out again. I'm out again working. I'm out again in the office. But it's such a shocker to me that. That when I when I came out from hiding, like parang oh my god, it's totally a different um environment. Hindi na yung mga workmates ko dati yung kasama ko. I have different tasks to accomplish, and you know when you when you're working, kasi you kind of have a routine. So like yung routine ko when I was working in my previous job, like siempre parang yun yung sanay akong gawin during the normal days then now that I'm back in the office again like para oh my god like I'm st starting from scratch I'm the new girl again like you know you know how you feel when you're the new girl like when you were young when it's first day of school like you're always so anxious and so nervous about what's going to happen so that's what I felt and there's just a lot of things going on in my personal life that it's just all happening all together like my new work, first day at work, new task, new role, then personal life issues and it's just oh my god, grabe, as in guys. 
you know, as I as I've mentioned in my previous vlogs, like I, I just see Mon um on the weekends. We just see each other on the weekends. But during that time I I I asked him, Can you please pick me up today? Like, can you pick me up after work? Cause wala lang parang gusto ko lang may karant or something cause para wala parang anxiety talaga yung feel ko like why what what is happening to me like sobrang ano talaga sobrang weird talaga nung feeling na parang hindi ako mapakali na parang I'm just so sad na parang mayroong separation anxiety or something and wala parang you just miss everyone you miss your you miss your past workmates you you miss wala your you miss the life that you're that you were you were you had you miss the life that you had parang pre covid during that first week at work yun lang yung mga naisip ko tas ang dami ko pang iniisip besides that that's happening in my personal life parang sabay-sabay lang sila nangyayari kaya sobrang nakaka-stress as in so there i think it was just a phase kasi parang syempre i'm back working na in I'm working outside. I'm not work from home anymore. So maybe yun lang. I didn't expect that I would experience that. Yung parang shock. I thought I thought all this time that I'm okay. I can I can get back to work right away. I can do this. So oh, work. This is easy. I used to do this all the time. I used to work on the weekends, but during my first um week at my new work like sobrang emotional roller coaster lang talaga for me so there i'm just so happy that i have friends i have i have mon i have i have my siblings to talk to about these things that i'm experiencing right now cuz it really helps when you have people to talk to about your your life, your life issues, and someone who would listen. Because sometimes you just wanna, you just wanna tell someone what you're feeling, so you don't keep it all inside. So there, I'm just so lucky to have these people whom I can talk to every time I need them. So thank you guys. You know who you are. So thank you so much. I really appreciate all the time and all the effort that you you give whenever I need you. So thank you. Anyway, let's talk about um, my new work. So my new work actually, um, I've been working there for like two weeks already. Yes, two weeks already. So the following week, actually not the following week, actually that Friday. The Friday before the weekend of my first week. I was actually feeling better na because I had a good grasp of my new role and my workmates, they're very nice. My bosses, they're very nice. And they really, they really talk me through it. Like all the things that I need to do. All of my, all this new role that I have right now. They assist me with everything that I need to learn to be able to do my job well. They're very accommodating and parang it just comforted me. Na parang, oh, okay, now I know I know what I'm going to do. I, it's clear with me. I know na my job. So, parang okay na ako during that time, Friday. Parang I began to like, oh, this is what this is what I've been, this this is what I'm going to do in the next few years. So I'm so excited to do this job. So there, yun yung isip ko ng Friday. Then the following week when I when I went back to work again, of course I go to work na every day. So wala parang alam mo yung I have all this energy na I have to do this job well. So. Ayun, it's a completely it's it's completely a new road for me and I am so excited to take part in it. So I'm really happy with my new job and I, I just feel so blessed to have this job. It's like it's meant for me the the time that I that I got this job. It's like parang may sign lang na 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 feel ako na oh this job is so meant for me it's not far from my home it's within QC it's near my parents office 
um, they can take me to work. So, such a treat. Na parang, it was handed to me. Na parang, okay, this is the job. This is the job that I want for you. So, I'm just very thankful. Because I realized na you just have you just have to trust the process. Because wala eh, if you if you keep beating yourself up na lakap ng trabaho, um, what are you doing with your life? You know, if you keep doing that yourself, you're just going to suffer, and it's not it's not a very healthy way of thinking. So there, I'm just so happy finally I have a regular job. So of course, um, upon getting this job, I had to make sacrifices. So what are the things that I sacrificed? Of course, before when I had all the time in the world. <laughs> so of course, before um, I accept orders every day for Nick snacks. I I cook every day. Like I accept orders, deliver them, prepare all the orders in the morning, deliver them. Um, at the time that they they want it, so every day I I kept doing orders. So of course, since I'm going to work na in the office, I can't accept orders for next snacks anymore. That's why I announced it like a week before I started working in the office. I announced that I'm going to be accepting orders for Saturday deliveries. So basically, I'm keeping Nick snacks. I, you know, there are times in your life when you when you like think of a business or a way to earn money. Then, then when in when it actually works, like parang feeling mo, wow, I didn't expect this. So parang parang Nick snacks is one of those on um, businesses. Parang I thought Nick snacks would be just um a hobby. Or like an online business that my friends would like to support because they just love eating at home. Because at, because at first, of course, my customers were my friends. But eventually, I didn't expect that, that I'd be getting a lot of orders from different parts of Metro Manila. Like, I even get orders from Paranaque. Imagine, I live in Fairview and I deliver orders to Paranaque. So... I really didn't expect the feedback that I'd be getting from customers or from people. That's why I decided to keep Nick Snacks. So it's still up and running, but I'm just accepting orders for Saturday delivery. So anyway, so Nuna Nuna is very easy to maintain because they're dry goods, they're bags, they're canvas bags. So they don't really get damaged over time and I still get orders every once in a while. I ship they're very easy to ship out. They're bags. They're not food. So I can ship them out anytime. And I'm planning to do another collection soon. Once I have the time to actually do the next batch of designs. But soon I I also wanna keep this business because I didn't expect that it would actually work. So thanks to everyone who purchased from Nuna Nuna. So those are the things that, um, those are the changes with my regular um, lockdown days. Another thing, so if you're, if you want to know about my on online English teaching, um, I'm still doing it because as I've mentioned earlier, I, um, the peak hours is at night. So I still do it when I um, after work when I finish work um, I start classes at 8 p.m. then I finish at around 9:30 or 10 p.m. So there I open slots during that time. Of course I feel tired naman no pero parang I can't I can't leave them because they're my regular students and I always look forward to see them when I teach at night. Actually, hindi ko talaga to in-expect guys. Na parang ma-attach ako sa mga batang tinuturuan ko ng English. So parang hindi ko in-expect. But, dito na tayo and I, I still do it. So, it's actually good because you know, um, honestly, ah, yung kita ko pa lang sa 5-1 talk, it can already cover my utility bills. So, it's fine with me. Like, what do I do when I get home? I just hold my phone and just browse through the internet. Like this is this is actually a better thing to do. So um, I'm keeping my job as an online English teacher.
teacher, as a part-time online English teacher. So there, those are the changes that happened in the in the past few weeks. So I know you're wondering, what is it like? What is it like working in the office in this time of pandemic? To be honest with you guys, I was quite friending then when I found out that I'm going to work in the office soon. Siyempre, may COVID pa rin, di ba? COVID is real. COVID is there. But I just realized that COVID is not going to stop me from doing the things that I that I have to do or that I that I usually do. The thing that I love about going to work in this time of pandemic is that my parents take me to work every day. Like during the normal days, my parents would just drop me off somewhere, then they go to their office, then I just come in. Guys, magaling ako mag-commute FYI. Varsity ako commuting. College pa lang nagko-commute na ako, no? I can go anywhere in Metro Manila by commuting. And by commuting, I mean not riding a cab or a grab. Like, actual commuting. Like, riding the train, riding the bus, whatever it is. It's such a treat that I don't have to, um, I don't have to spend on transportation so there those are some of the changes but you know guys if you're asking about what's the what's happening on the road so i just want to tell you that there are some public transportation that are available right now um during covid so there are buses i get i i see buses on the streets jeepneys not so much anymore i can just i just see jeepneys in the like yung mga mas maliliit na area. But sa highway, wala na masyadong jeepney na pumapasada. The trains are working, so you can ride the train. If you're very worried about, about riding public transportation, you can always take a cab. There are cabs everywhere. And you can also book via Grab. If you book via Grab, it has to be cashless. So you can't you can't book a grab and pay cash so it has to be cashless you can use your credit card or you can transfer to your grab pay account so that's that's how it is these days and you know what recently i've seen that there that there are some uv uv express yeah there are uv express available in some areas so if you're lucky that there's uv express in your area you can ride uv express and, uh, and of course tricycle tricycle is always um available especially in in residential areas so there, those are the public transportations that are available during this pandemic. So, of course, if you're working in an office, you have to have food because you have a lunch break, you have your snack break or whatever break you have. And in my previous job, we have a cafeteria, but now we don't have any more. And of course, if you don't have a cafeteria, your options are you bring your food or you order online. So me, I, I'm not really a fan of ordering online. You know, I just, I mean, ordering food online. I just order food online whenever I'm with Mon, or whenever, whenever we're we're um, watching Netflix at home and we, we want something to eat. That's the time that we order food online. But for my own food, I don't really like ordering online. I like preparing my own meals. Um, that's what I do. This. This, um, during this time na nag-work na ako sa office, I prepare my own meals every day. I meal prep every Sunday. I prepare all the ingredients in different containers. Then I, then I store them in the fridge. Then, so, so that I could prepare them easily in the morning before I go to work. Because my work starts at 8 a.m. It's very early. So I have to be very fast in preparing my meals. So if you have been following me on Instagram, I post I post my meals there. If you want tips on how to prepare your baon for the office, you can just DM me. I'll share with you my recipe. Next. Okay, so what else? What else are the changes? Of course, some of the changes are one of, one of the 
biggest change is wearing a mask every freaking day. Like every every day you have to wear a mask outside. Even in the office, we wear masks in the office. Because you know, you have to be extra careful. Doesn't mean that you're all working in one office, you're well, you're working. It doesn't mean you're not at risk of um, getting infected. So you have to be very um, you have to be very careful. You have to wear your mask every day. So even in the office, we wear masks. Always have my alcohol with me. I always wash my hands before eating. And I always have my own pen, so I don't have borrow other people's pens. And of course, here in the Philippines, you're required to wear face shields when you're outside, when you're in the malls. But in the office, we're not required to wear face 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 shields. You can just wear your own face mask. So ayon so far those are some of the changes that happened in the past few months or weeks. So and here in the Philippines you're already allowed to do domestic travels. We actually booked for Boracay for summer this April. So there. We're so excited. Actually we're supposed to go to Boracay this February for Valentine's. But we had to um push it back because you know because of the new work and it was just so um parang masyadong kipit yung hours to prepare and there's so many requirements when going to when going on a domestic travel you, just, you have to have an rt pcr test and you have to have a health declaration so it's just so tedious that we had to push it back so i'm just so glad that during the past few weeks it feels normal already of course we're not erasing the fact that covid is still there and there are a lot of people still infected but it just feels good that finally like we're slowly going back to normal hopefully in the near future we can already do some like family gatherings or gatherings with friends you know i really miss those days so i hope um in the near future we can do it again basically i'm just happy about everything about where i am right now there are times that i got so emotional about it but now i'm okay now again you know it's just a phase guys it 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 happens and it'll go it'll go away you just have to sometimes help yourself, you know, self-care, self-first, always. So, anyway, um, I'm just so happy to share this with you guys. It's good news for me, and I'm so happy that I'm working again. I'm back on my feet. I'm just so happy, and I hope if there's anyone who've experienced the things that I've experienced in the past few months, you're like, you know, like losing your job, building your own online business, you know. Um, I'd be willing to talk about it. You can just message me. And I hope everything goes, um, everything is doing well also with you. And if you don't have your job yet, if you don't have a new job yet, the only advice I could tell you is you just have to trust the process. Alam nyo guys, nadating din yun. Don't be so stressed about it. Kasi I totally get you. I've experienced that phase. Na sobrang stress ako na parang, Why? So, why? Why? Why did this happen to me? Hindi naman ako type ng person na nagpapabaya sa work. But, it happened to me. And it's not because I was doing bad at work because of the pandemic it's because of the business and i don't totally accept it i totally understand you don't have to be too hard on yourself you have to keep on getting better you can develop your skills you can do online classes there are many things to do to improve yourself so that's what you can focus on habang wala pa kayong job so ayun yun lang those are the advice that i can give you because Yung mga na experience ko in the past few months. So, um, thank you guys for watching.
Grabe, wala akong ginawa kong di dumaldal the entire time and magkwento. But I hope you enjoyed my kwento about my life update. So, you know, you can just message me anytime if you have any questions or if you want to talk about something. You can just follow me on my Instagram at Nicole Santos. So, there. That's the end of this vlog. So if you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So of course, don't forget to ring the notification bell for more updates. So thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you on my 